Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2011 Giants season. I'm Ralph Facchiano, the New York Daily News, outside the Giants practice facility here in the rain, the things I'm willing to do for you. First of all, let me say that no Giants were hurt in the making of this video. And I know that's rare. This actually might be the only thing that hasn't hurt any Giants this summer. As you know, it's been a terrible year for injuries so far. Jonathan Goff, Terrell Thomas, Marvin Austin, Bruce Johnson, Clint Sintom, all gone for the season. Osiu Minora, Prince of Mukamara, both out probably until October. It's been nothing but doom and gloom here, especially when you factor in the losses of Kevin Boss, Steve Smith, and well, honestly, if you haven't turned over to the jet stream by now, I guess you're still interested in your team despite all the doom and gloom. So I should give you three reasons why there's still some hope here at the Meadowlands. Number one is, believe it or not, things are not as bad as they seem. The Giants are actually better positioned to withstand some of these injuries than most teams. If you think about it, two of their big ones, OCU Minora, Prince of Mukamara, uh, Terrell Thomas at cornerback and, and obviously OCU at defensive end, they had first round picks ready to step right in. Aaron Ross, a first rounder in 2007. Jason Pierre-Paul, a first rounder from last year. Usually teams don't have that kind of ready-made talent and the Giants even have a promising young linebacker in Greg Jones who can step right in uh, for Jonathan Goff. So that's number one. Number two, Neither of the running backs are hurt, and that is big because Brandon Jacobs and Ahmad Bradshaw combined for 2,000 yards last year in a year that most people don't think was very good for them. In fact, they don't think it was very good for them. If you watch them this summer, you know that they ran with determination. Brandon Jacobs with a lot of power, a lot of speed. With a rebuilt offensive line that may be a little shaky at first, there's no reason why they can't hit 2,500 yards this year. So that could power this offense. And the number three reason why you should be excited about this team despite the doom and gloom, Eli Manning. Now, let's get started with this. He's no Tom Brady, no matter what he thinks. He is, however, a legitimate top 10 quarterback, and he's got some big time weapons in Hakeem Nix and Mario Manningham. Yes, he threw 25 interceptions last year, but there rarely is a correlation from one year to the other with interceptions. Chances are that number will go down. He's a quarterback who can throw 4,000 yards, and he's a quarterback who can complete 60-something percent of his passes. He is very, very good, and that passing offense at times can move the ball and score at will. So you've got three reasons to be excited, despite all the doom and gloom and the injuries. Of course, it's been about five minutes, so I better go check and make sure there were no other injuries that will ruin the rest of the season. For more on all of that, make sure you stay tuned to the Blue Screen and follow at the Blue Screen on Twitter all season long.